Hey guys, Sony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Saga Review. So today, in effort to clean out some of the stuff Eric sent me, I found another one of these things. So we're gonna smoke this today. And this apparently is called Fuerte Fuente Opus X Heaven and Earth BBMF. Natural, yeah, I think that's all, 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 all that is, right? Did I forget anything? Forbidden X. So, Fuente Fuente Opus X forbid, Forbidden Heaven and Earth and BBMF Natural. There. <laughs> the name is just so long. I don't know why they make so much names for this thing. So, but anyways, let's um, um, take a close look at this cigar, shall we? Okay, Heaven and Earth BBMF Natural from Opus X is six and a half by sixty-four in this uh, ponytail perfecto weird size. Okay, is made um, strictly in Dominican, their own farm. And so the wrapper, binder, and filler is all Dominican. And it comes in a box of $10, $780. First come, first serve. Uh, they've been releasing this a few years, and a portion of these goes to charity. So roughly $78 a stick. All right, $78 a stick. Yeah. So it looks kind of weird. Obviously, the shape with this tail braided. And you can tell that there's a darker leaf on the foot and a darker leaf at the, like the ponytail tie. Um, but you know, there's not much information on this particular thing, so we can only go by whatever it is. The focus on the flavor, not what it's made out of. So now let's get started. It's um a nutty, sweet, honey, very strong honey smell. Oh yeah, that's honey smell. Espresso. A little bit leathery as well. Wow, that smells so good. Yeah, it really smells like honey. Yeah. Yeah, the leaf is so honey-like smell. I'm not kidding. The foot, so sweet. As if you just wipe honey here. That is very sweet. Uh, I guess I supposed to cut off this tail. So let's cut off the tail. Yeah. That doesn't look good on camera, huh? There's some flavor to that. What the hell? Ooh, like a mushroomy, fermenty taste. An old wood. Really old wood. That's because it. I smell. I could have swear when I first tasted it, there's something taste to it. Now I should have picked that up and tasted it again. It doesn't taste like anything. All right, let's light it up. Seventy-eight dollars. Uh, 
I got a lit. Now I just need to toast the side a little bit because it's got to burn funny. Cedary. Right, the draw is funny. You can see like this is just like, you know, the straight tunnel. So, draw is funny. Pepper, espresso. Mm. The draw is very funny. There's a little bit of leatheriness to it. I'm gonna light up the side a little bit more. There's also a little bit like a dry tea leafness. Some sweetness is going through. Some spice. So you can see there's a giant hole. So we'll see if that fixes itself in a few. I'm going to press it down a little bit. No, just very relaxing espresso note right now. Just loosen up. Tastes like a nutty iced coffee-ish, but yeah, I did not have coffee today. No, oh, no, now it's like a nutty, half diluted espresso. Tastes a little bit of oak. It's getting better. It's getting better. Let's try to work all the tobacco together right now because I just burned it through. So let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Okay, one third. Now, it's a smooth, woody, mixed spiced, honey, leathery cigar. It's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's a lot better than a lot of uh, other Opus X I've smoked. It's smooth. It's, um, it's got mixture of a little bit of everything. Sweetness, right? Some dark note, right? Some woodsiness, some oak, um, and, and some pepper that's not going to kill you. And it burns really well. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Despite of having that hole here, it burned really nicely. It kind of just corrects itself as it goes. And um, while smoking it, I was packing up uh, my books into boxes. And I came back and I said, like, oh, you know what? I got to relight this. But I didn't have to. I took a puff. It burns. It holds the fire really well. And that sweetness. At times, it's not just that honey sweetness. It tastes like a, like a black tea. Like a black tea taste to it with a little bit of honey to it. It's, and there's a little bit of nuttiness to it too. So it's kind of weird. It's 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 a pleasant mixture of flavor. None of them are overly strong, but none of them I would say is particularly weak. 
Uh, so not 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 bad right now. Not bad right now. So that's the first third. So let's get into second third roughly here because the it tapers. You know, it's not. So let's let's just get to halfway here. And call it second third. We'll be right back. So second third right now. Still a lot of wuzi tong. Still a lot of flavor like that. I just keep tasting that tea flavor. It tastes like an iced tea or or like a. Uh, watered down with some iced tea Americano kind of style thing. It, it has the sweetness. It really tastes pretty good. It really tastes pretty good. And that once in a while, once you take a few more puff, you get that little old wood woodsiness. You get that pepper spice. You get nuttiness. Um, it tastes kind of like um, a mixture of a drink like an iced tea or iced coffee while you're smoking a Connecticut or natural with some creaminess, uh, honey, nuttiness, and pepper. It's pretty amazing cigar. I, 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 I got to put it out there. This cigar is actually pretty amazing. I don't really like Opus, but this is pretty relaxing, good cigar for today. So here we go. First, well, this is technically second band. The second band just basically tells the year this one is released because they released multiple different years. I think, I don't know when they started, 2005 or something like that. They release it once in a while. And you know, that money goes to charity. Uh, if you don't know already, Fuente is one of the biggest charity uh, provider in uh, in DR. So they do give away a lot of money. They make a lot of money, but they also give away a lot of money. So last third, we'll finish up and we give a rating. Spoiler alert, it's not $78. I don't think it's anything is really worth that kind of money, but we'll get to it. All right, Laster. Laster is just woodsy sweetness, honey, little bit of spice, very tiny amount of spice. It's a very relaxing cigar. Oh my God. Really, really good woodsiness. This can go with tea, coffee, bourbon. Soda, it's just a good cigar. Overall, good cigar. I can knock this thing. I can knock this thing. About a medium-ish strength. Doesn't go crazy or anything like that. It's... I can't sing enough praise about this. But my only thing is about the price range at $78. Okay. Now, the box does look kind of amazing. Right, but I can't justify seventy-eight dollar for this thing. Now, I mean, this tail is pretty cool, but you gotta cut it off, right? The smoking experience is really, really good. I enjoyed it. Last year, the flavor is still there. Like it transitioned to a more, even more relaxing, but it didn't lose the strength of the flavor. Right, the body's there. It's very, very, very woodsy. And I wouldn't say it's boring because it's got a little bit of, you know, that honey, that tea, that I would say almost uh, it's leathery and almost like some sort of a fruit peel sweetness. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's nice. It's nice. This is a good cigar. It burns well. Smoke output is good. I'm going to give this cigar a How much would I be willing to pay for this? $50. I'll give this cigar a $50 price tag. And that's for my personal opinion obviously. That if this cigar was $50 and for this enjoyment, I wouldn't mind to buy it. You know, I'm probably more close Probably more comfortable at 48, but with the box and everything, I would say about 50. So if you tell me this box is $500, I'll be like, okay, all right. You know, portion of that goes to uh, charity. I'm okay with that. So $500 for this collection, okay. I can splurge it once a year or something like that. I, 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 I can actually see that. 780, not so much. Not so much. All right, but $50 is where it is for me. For me. And if you can find it at 450, you should buy it. Okay, you should buy it. Anyways, big thanks to Eric. Finally got me a Opus X that I actually really enjoy. Well, it's not only one, but this is one that 
I really, really enjoyed it for a little bit. You know, not bad at all. Like the cigar. I really like the cigar. So thanks to Eric. Smoke one if you have one. Uh, he does review some of these cigars too. Make sure to go watch his channel. And for me, I'm just going to continue to enjoy the rest of this cigar and go have my dinner and enjoy the rest of my night because this really brings me to a good mood today. It really does. It really does. It's a good cigar. It really does. So uh, I will no, we'll end here. This is... I got to take another pop. All right. So that will be it for this review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out swag. Check out podcast. Check out membership. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Ooh.